Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of my new show, BrickLover18 Weekly. So in today's episode, we're going to do like a Philly BrickFest 2016 recap. We're going to do an episode of Ask Brick. We're going to talk about my alt channel as well as my main channel. We're going to do an episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. And then I'm going to give you a new BrickLover18 Asks You question. All that coming up. So first up was Philly BrickFest. Philly BrickFest happened a couple weeks ago now and it was honestly the best event I've ever been to. I got to meet so many awesome people. I did like kind of daily vlogs, like I did four the whole time I was there, I think, three. I did four and it was so much fun to make those. I had never done vlogging before. I definitely don't want to do it daily, like I, I can't do it. But those vlogs were a lot of fun to do. If you want to check those out in the cards now, you definitely can. Some of the clips are playing on the screen, but I really enjoyed making them. So I just kind of wanted to know what you guys thought of them. Did you like the Brick Lover 18 daily vlogs at Philly Brickfest? Were you like, oh my god, Brick Lover 18, stop uploading? I mean, I do admit a couple of them were a little late because I got back and I had a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, one was like a week and a half late, but that's okay because I think they're really cool. I uploaded a neat haul video where I got, showed all the different items I got at Philly Brickfest. I think that was kind of cool very happy with the stuff I bought and again just getting to meet everybody at Philly Brickfest was so amazing like I got to meet people that I've been talking to on YouTube for four years I'm so happy I went I already have plans for next year it gave me just I got to see awesome mock I got to meet awesome people I got to play in a bunch of games and it's kind of definitely inspired me to do more with my YouTube channel and I'm really excited just to be able to do that, you know, change some things up. If you have the opportunity to go, I definitely recommend it. It's so much fun. And there you have it, my Philly Brickfest recap. Again, don't forget to check out all the Philly Brickfest videos I made in the cards. Alrighty, so now we have a couple questions for Ask Brick. Fluffy Pants Review asks, if you could add anything to your city, what would it be? Honestly, if I could add anything to my city, it'd just be like a bunch of skyscrapers, and things like that because as much as the city can like be spread out over hundreds of square feet like some people have it I would much rather see a city that's in a smaller area but like really grown up and really built up and tall because that's what a majority of cities really are they don't have a lot of space so they have to go upwards mini bricks ask do you think being on YouTube and part of the Lego community has affected how much Lego you buy and build how so YouTube has definitely impacted and being part of the community has definitely impacted my Lego spending because I'm always buying new things to make new videos for you. I'm always buying new things to add to my collection basically so I can show you. Well, there's also things I do buy that I purposely don't show on YouTube but for the most part I like to buy stuff for my YouTube channel and that's definitely influenced the way I have spent. But I'm not saying like I only spend money so I can show it on YouTube like that's ridiculous but it just helps if I want to buy a set and I just you know part of me I definitely just want to buy it but it's a lot easier to you know fork out all the money if you'd be like oh well I actually can make a YouTube video for my you know my subscribers to enjoy earn a little on the ad revenue that comes in so you know owning the sets now a little bit easier than just going out and buying you know maybe that $200 set bricks walls can you make my sig fig? That's a good question. I get asked that a lot, and I really love to make everybody sig fig. I have a pretty small sig fig collection, as you can see, and I want to expand. Like, I want to have a huge sig fig collection like the Brick Adjuster does. But he's very dedicated to buying everybody's parts for their sig fig and to making it, and I really commend him on that. Like, that is a big task. And I'm sorry to say, but I don't have the resources, I don't have the money. And I just don't have the desire to own everybody's sig fig like that. The fact that I'd have to go buy it. Like, if you want to send me your sig fig, like, I'd love that because I think sending sig figs to each other are really cool. It's basically about the money. Parts are expensive for the sig fig. Alex the Beast asks if you could buy one Lego theme, what would it be? Well, the theme I would probably buy would be Lego City because Lego City, as you can see, I have a city. It's definitely my favorite theme, although they don't always contain the best sets. I think for the most part, I'd be happier owning all Lego City sets than I would be just owning all of the, you know, maybe creator sets. Like, if I didn't own all creator sets, I'd really miss the fact that I wouldn't have modular buildings. 
but the, if I owned all creator sets, I'd really miss getting, you know, five or six new police sets every single year. I think that would be hard. So following that pretty long Q&A, I have a question for you guys. So a couple weeks ago, I was doing a couple like updates on my channel when I was having compu some computer issues that did get resolved, or I was just I was getting ready for Philly Breakfast, and I was making like vlogs and updates. And my question for you is: Would you rather see these vlogs and updates on my main channel, where they always go, or would you like to see them on my alt channel? Now I do have an alt channel. I never ever use it. I uploaded one video a little while ago, like a sorry video. Just you can go watch that. But would you rather have main? Like all my videos on this channel, just keep it all easy, or would you like me to branch off, just keep this one Lego sets, Lego reviews, all the other Lego videos that I do, and then occasionally vlog videos on the other channel? I guess you'll just have to let me know down in the comments below. So now, here is the final part of the episode. We're gonna do Brick Lover 18 asks you. So, like a couple weeks ago now, I asked you if you could make any Lego set, what would it be? Alex the Beast, I F I F A videos and more. I would make a Lego modular building hospital. Gamer Pro 11. My Lego set would be a big Lego mountain with hikers and campers on it. So far, both of these have sounded like really awesome ideas. Brennan Wong says, If I could make my own Lego set, I would make a large airport set with emphasis on the terminal. I would include gates, customs, like the real airport. The upcoming airport in the summer is a lackluster and wish they'd separate the terminal onto its own set and make it bigger. That's very true. The new airport's just like it's missing the airport. Like, it's very small compared to real airports in real life. Brick walls? I would make a Lego Sig Fig pack. That's such an awesome idea. Like, if we get out like, Sig Fig blind bags, with, you know, a couple hundred of the different LEGO community members. I think that would be the coolest. Bricks for Max? Hmm, that's a hard one. I would love to see LEGO make more hospital modular or more city scenes, such as a park or even a small beach. It would be nice for small sets, including animals and accessories as well. Maybe even a supermarket. I know this would need to be at least modular size and defeat the point of the green grocer, but I know others and I weren't so lucky in getting it. Since it's released, more people, I think, have grown to love LEGO, and I would want a set like that. I know this is a lot of sets, but there are just so many. Epic Blue Gamer says, if I could make my own Lego set, I would make it a modular building. It would be a hotel with 2,500 pieces. Very specific. Thanks everybody so much for your questions. I really appreciate them. This week's question for you is, if you only had $150, you know, 150 whatever currency you have, what Lego would you buy with it? Would you just buy as many Brooklyn Gorges as you could? Would you buy like one modular building set? Would you like try and save your money and go to grad sales and find like discounts? Would you buy like a special rare figure? Let me know down in the comments below. If you only had $150 for the entire year to spend on Lego, what would you spend it on? Thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I look forward to hearing your answers. Again, if you want to have any questions for Ask Brick, leave them in the comments below. If you have any response to Brick Lover 18 asks you, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to read the description as well as my comment down below because I'll have a whole list of questions that we talked about in this video that I wanted your opinion on. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry this was a longer episode. These things, I just have a lot to talk about.